Two hikers make a discovery in the snow and unlock centuries of lost history. Back in 1991, there was this German couple, Helmut and Erica Simon, who decided to go on an expedition to the Italian Alps. They planned for doing things that they will never forget about. Indeed, what the couple saw and experienced in those mountains is unforgettable. We'll see what happened exactly back then. As they navigated the spectacular vistas of the region's Ostal Alps, the Simons, encouraged by years of hiking experience, tackled some of the range's more treacherous terrain. And so, the couple abandoned their pre-mapped route and began exploring off the beaten path. Nearing the summit of a large mountain, the Simons noticed a strange-looking shape jutting out of the earth. The couple approached the object, and what they found there chilled them more than any snow ever could. The Simons were shocked, and they didn't know what to do because, actually, they found a corpse of a hiker. They were scared and trembling, and then they started to react wisely, and they decided to call the authorities to check whose corpse it was and if he was still missed. Just after the excavation team arrived, a violent storm swept through the mountains, making the recovery of the body incredibly difficult. After three long days of on and off digging, rescue workers were finally able to unearth the frozen corpse. News broke quickly of the daring mountainside recovery, with one Austrian reporter dubbing the deceased mountaineer Otzi the Iceman, after the location in which he was found. But as authorities began to inspect the recovered body, they realized that Otzi was no ordinary hiker. The recognition of Ozzy wasn't easy at all. They took the corpse to the University of Innsbruck, where the most successful and competent archaeologists did their best to find out all the details about the strange corpse of Otzi. Strangely, they figured out that it belongs to the Bronze Age, and it existed exactly for 5,300 years. This is really interesting, isn't it? Otzi's body was incredibly well preserved thanks to the wet mountain conditions. Not only did this enable scientists to run an advanced test on the remains, but it also allowed them to create a 3D reconstruction of what Otzi might have looked like. According to the data taken from his body, Otzi stood 5'5", weighed 84 pounds, and was 45 years of age at the time of his death. Scientists also deduced that Otzi had brown eyes, a thick beard, and generally maintained an overall haggard appearance. But the revelations about Otzi weren't solely cosmetic. From the 30 different pollen samples taken from Otzi's stomach, scientists determined that the Iceman had perished sometime in the spring or summer. This information, coupled with the fact that Otzi had eaten an ibex a mere two hours before his death, allowed scientists to trace his travels through the region, as well as understand some of the diseases he suffered from during his lifetime. The long thousands of years that the corpse spent iced didn't stop the scientists from doing all the biological tests to find out that Otzi was suffering from not two or three diseases, but in a real list that included a myriad of ailments, including whipworm, cardiovascular disease, and lactose intolerance. This is weirdly unbelievable. Because of his incredible condition of his skin, Scientists were able to identify a number of markings on Otzi's body as primitive tattoos, which were likely used to mark acupuncture points. Not only did this make Otzi the oldest tattooed mummy to date, but it also indicated that acupuncture was practiced 2,000 years before first believed. Scientists couldn't find the exact reason of the Iceman's death, even though it took them a decade of research and tests but they suggested that the main reason was an exposure. However, the latest research that was made by other scientists says the Iceman died because of horrifying reasons. Apparently, his death was a mystery. Using advanced X-ray technology, scientists discovered an arrowhead lodged in Otzi's left shoulder. Given the location of the shot, 
the arrow would have pierced a vital artery, likely causing Otzi to bleed to death. It wasn't a snowstorm that killed Otzi. He was murdered. Questions swirled about this newfound revelation, with scientists scrambling to find a motivation for the murder of the Iceman. One theory suggests that Otzi had been shot while raiding a rival tribe, while another claimed that Otzi had been the victim of a ritual sacrifice. Ultimately, though, the items found alongside Otzi's body provided the biggest insight into his death. Now, after discovering the main reason of the Iceman's death, the scientists' mission ended there, and the authorities' mission started with their investigation about the tools and the weapons found with the corpse, and they concluded that since he was killed, it's sure that the killer left his weapons there. Those looking to experience the wonder of Otzi firsthand and potentially invite a curse or two could visit the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Balzano, Italy, where he stood on display. A memorial was also constructed at the site's Otzi's discovery to commemorate the historical find. Otzi's story was fortunately revealed, but can you imagine what is still not discovered yet? Millions of historical stories that are still buried in different places, oceans, mountains, or islands. Not all discoveries must be gold to be interesting. I like this one. It was scary at first, but finally it's a valuable discovery of the human's history. Isn't it incredible how one discovery can have such a massive impact on our world? 